Okay, I'm gonna show you today how you can do a surface loft using a power surfacing. I'm gonna use it in, a, in something like a model. I'm gonna model it with my mind now, just for an example to show you what exactly I mean. So I just started with this box here and I'm going to make some extrudes and let's say this one should be something like that okay and this one is going to be creased the tool and flat from here This one here is going to be deleted and I'm going to take this make it flatten to the ground here. Okay, now I'm going to just insert one in the middle to make sure it's not going to be To make sure it's going to be in good shape. So let's do this and make this a little smaller. And I need to connect these like that. Okay. Now I'm going to bevel this here and then I need to delete this faces and I'm, I need to connect these with this here to close them. So we, we need to do a loft between this open edges and this open edges here. So how I can do this is just simply I'm going to bevel this one and bevel again make it inside a little and the same thing underneath let's transparency it and to just make sure we see better and a little bit of that smaller Okay, so I can select now this one with this alternate edges and make a bridge. So it's gonna act like surf, like loft surfacing here. So as you see here, and I can increase the number of loops. Then from this one here, I can make it less tangency and add the bottom also okay so that's good now we have this nice loft between this open edges and this one so after I just click finish I can just do make this hard edge Okay, and this also is going to be a hard edge. Let's give this a crease. And let's give a little crease on here. Kill this a little. Mm -hmm. 
and from the side I can easily change the scale of this All right so maybe we maybe make it taller and maybe change or I can select this center line and make a mirror let me just delete a half and make sure all of this loop is just flat like that and then you can mirror without any problems so let's change the curvature here and we can change the shape as we want get some closed here closed line unclosed here so just select it and go to on mirror so the problem fix it okay let's see what we just did after converting so it's obviously we just still have an over the edges so let's go back yes here just transparency and you can see that we still have an alternate edges here so how we can solve this let's go to this faces and just hide them <clears throat> and I'm gonna select the three edges and press on mirror then you can unhide all again and convert without any problems and you're gonna see see that you have a solid body now okay so as you have seen here I created this swift swift cut and it looks great no problems at all and about this I can just make any detail on here so let's say I need to just insert an edges like this and I'm going to crease here then just make this upper like that and on this vertex here I'm gonna make a small crease so it's just gonna melt or or just uh, fading the transition between this creased and non creased edge okay and now I can just fully crease this and let's convert can see that nice transition here and about this hard creased edge that we just did I can fold it with the solid works so 10 millimeters is just very big I can just make smaller like one millimeters and it apply the same at the bottom here go to fill it and I can do a fill it here maybe here maybe bigger eight seven it's good okay 
Now you can see this nice foods and everything looks great. I just need to make a small detail here. So I'm going to use the constrained move and move this up a little here. And insert an edge here. Select this inserted edge and extrude it. I'm going to scale and scale up. Maybe okay, 13, and I'm gonna increase this all three edges, maybe 44 or something. And this guy in the center, I'm gonna scale it down to inside. Make sure you're just not using the constraint move. And here you go. Let's convert. So yes, we can see now that the transitions goes well and the loft or the swift that we just did is great. Apparently it's just small thickness here. So we can go back on this section, yes. soft selection here and scale this up give a little scale here all right you now we should be done So that's very nice now okay this is it for this video you just have a fillet just ruined up let's refold here make repair all the missing edges and it just gonna refill this